afraid you have a tuna, Mr. Fishbaum. No, I don't know. Mom's marshmallow and liver sandwich is just too yummy. Oh, joy, another dump truck. Come in. Edison's, Edison's. Bravissimo. Oh, Mr. Fishbaum told me about what you did. Hmm. I stayed here all night and ran a complete chemical breakdown. It's amazingly resilient with a compound molecular bond unlike any polymer I've ever seen. Do you have any idea what this means? It means I haven't had a date in 20 years. It means that you three are going to help me get more funding for the school as soon as you recreate the this whatever this is. Recreate it? From scratch? I, I don't think that's a very good idea. Well, then perhaps you'd like to see the bill for replacing all the equipment you destroyed. I, no, I... So what, that was two parts magnesium sulfate to one part, uh, hydrogen? Hydrogen. Yeah. yeah. That's... Testubular man, what's that strange bubbling substance? Have no fear, CO2 cool for you. It's goop. What's goop? It's like kryptonite, only orange. Our powers, draining. You can't complete sentences. The Justice League of Science. All right, folks, in you go. Keep it moving, all right, thank you. There's uh, plenty of room inside. Great, thanks. All right. Go, 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 go. Hey, no crowding, I'm claustrophobic. <laughs> Well, another one bites the dust, huh? Whoa. Flash, I have never seen your fingers look so exciting before. <laughs> you think my fingers look exciting? You should see my toes. You won't, but you should. I hate this. I cave under pressure. Not me. I thrive on it. Romeo loves a crowd. So apparently the crowd loves Romeo. So, how's it coming, Einstein's? Any breakthroughs? The closest we got was two batches ago. It was nearly identical. Great. Then you almost got it. Not exactly. Stuff ate a hole through the floor. That's not good. Well, actually, that's not bad. We're right over the girls' locker room. You're doing something wrong. I just don't know what. Well, where is it? Mrs. Morton, these things take time. We're talking precise calculations, careful measurements. And a strong belief in miracles. <laughs> Whatever it is, I hope you figure it out by tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon? Why? Because that's when I've arranged a press conference where I'm announcing your results to the media. I'm getting dizzy. Breathe, Vasquez. You should be thrilled. A breakthrough like this, hmm, it can only impress the college admissions people. Perfect grade point average, student council president, and two to five years for destroying school property. Harvard can use a girl like you. Thanks, and with good behavior, I'll be out by my junior year. So if I were you, I would find a way to find the formula. Shepard, get your face off the floor. Want to know what I feel worst about? That with all this silly goop stuff, this week's student bodies is just one page? No. With the exception of Chris, I'm the only one I know who looks bad in this color. So, we've tried every possible combination of every possible thing we might have done. It's hopeless. And I can almost smell the Ivy League. Grace, look. You gotta let that collar stuff slide a little bit. Don't worry, they'll be knocking your door down. Oh, Romeo, that's such a nice thing to say. <gasps> yeah, that was actually quite nice, especially for someone who's about to go down in flames, buddy boy. Um, flame boy yourself, my friend. I have other plans. What other plans? These are the plans. Yo, Stanley. Stevie. Yeah, whatever. Look, we're in a bit of trouble, and you're probably the only dude who can get us out. Me? Super Geek! Oh, save you! 
When an acid and a base are mixed, the hydrogen ion from the acid and the hydroxide ion from the base combine to form water. Good work, Super Geek. You're boring the goop to death. That's why, as in any experiment, the only way to reproduce your findings is to replicate the situation which led to the original discovery. Okay, try saying that in English now. You have to redo what you did that made the goop in the first place. Remember what Stevie said. We have to sit in the exact same seats, do exactly what we were doing. And that's why we're all wearing the same clothes. Most of us, anyway. Morgan, that isn't what you had on. Please, Emily, nothing touches this body twice in one week. Unless, of course, he's lettered in three sports. Hey, we're Shepard. Who's supposed to bring the scones? I don't know. I told him to be here, but, you know, Chris... <laughs> and sometimes I wish I didn't. Hey, no, Chris, no, don't, don't videotape this. Why not? The Discovery Channel runs this kind of stuff all day. Just make believe we're not here. Oh, yeah. I can't even see you in all this glare. Well, by the way, here are your donuts. Donuts? Shepard, you were supposed to bring scones. Can we just try this, please? Okay. Everybody start recreating last Tuesday. Okay, okay. I'm mindlessly mixing ingredients. While I think about how my life is an empty shell. And I am mindlessly filing my nails while I think about how Grace's life is an empty shell. And I am mindlessly staring at Morgan. Her legs, her hair, her lovely... Chris! Here's the goop for the scones. Huh? But this is a donut. Use your imagination. But I know it's a donut. And no matter what I imagine, it will always be a donut. I loathe donuts. They are so pedestrian. Uh, then uh, how about a, a cruller? Or a Danish? <laughs> or one of these uh, strange little bumpy things? Is this really edible? Chris, do you mind? Chris! Chris! Look out. Eureka! <laughs> it smells like goop. It looks like goop. Tastes like goop. Guys, I think we did it. We recreated goop. We got goop. Yes. <laughs> but, but, for the record, this is still a donut. Oh.